Hi guys, here we are again ready for another video. Today I chose Peaceful Cabin. Um, I did all the cards using this. <clears throat> it comes with dies, stamps, dies. It has the velvety paper that you can stamp on because I did a polar bear on that. It has an embossing folder, it has sequins, ribbon, and this paper is to die for. It's gorgeous, but it doesn't do it justice like most of them in, in the book. But you'll see, hopefully you'll, you can see when you see the cards why I, I love this set. And, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the cards I did not put greetings or sentiments on because it can be all winter, it can be uh, seasonal, and, um, and I don't know how I'm going to use them yet. So here are the different ones I came up with. This is a Z-fold card, and these two are papers. This is cut from the paper, the tree, and then this also is cut from the paper. The only things I stamped with these little sections right here with the fence and the fox. So look how pretty. I don't know if you can see how glittery those trees are, but they're beautiful. Then I did this card, which uh, definitely looks like night, and I put Wink of Stellar on, and I have a tiny frame of black around my um, inking and silver and then misty uh, moonlight and then I just put white dots around the outside so it kind of looks like a starry night like this one and then I did this one who is it's three-dimensional this was stamped and die cut out there's a die cut so that it cuts the cat top of the cabin and your snow ba bank. And then these trees were uh, also die cut out. Then I stamped the fence and the fox. I layered two snow bankings so I could have different layers. And then all I did was put a black with a, some of this paper on the inside and my envelope. And this one, I used just the dies, the die for the uh, cabin and the snow, and then uh, the die for the trees, and put it on black. I do have a Christmas greeting on this one. And then on the inside, I did a couple trees, the fox, and a fence. And I put the cabins on that envelope. This one, I'm, I started out because I thought, well, a sunset would be, excuse me, a sunset would be cute. But you know what you could do is you could put a Santa in a sleigh or you could put a witch uh, on a broom for Halloween. It's kind of cool, really. It could go either way. And then on this one, I, I put trees and a fox on the inside and trees on the envelope flap. This one is just the paper. I just added a fox, um, and that's all I did to the front. And then it's, um, I'm not sure if it's a center box card, but if you can see, I cut out a cabin so it would be smaller from the paper, and fence and trees, and more trees, and the only thing I stamped in here was the fence again. And this is just the paper and it's really sparkly and pretty. And then I just used some of the, this paper, the top of it, for the flap. Then I made a shaker card with snow. And um, if you want to know the directions for any of these, you can email me at pamelliot7777 at gmail.com and ask. Um, I also put uh, Wink of Stella or Glitter on the roof and the snow bank. And then on the inside um, I did trees in this and you know that I got an ink spot so I added some birds. 
and I used the cabin on this one as well. And the last one I did was just a partial front. This is just the paper in the back. This is two snow banks, and this is the die, um, not the die, the um, cabin that I uh, stamped, and, and I hand cut that because I wanted to tuck it in between, and one tree I hand cut, and then I did the fox and for you. So that's a different one, and then I did the cabins again. Now one thing I noticed when I got done all of these was that I had quite a few narrow strips. So I'm going to use those narrow strips to make a card. And we've done strips before. Um, you can go in any direction. You could go in two, several different directions on one card. But the paper is all so pretty and so coordinated uh, that you could do almost anything with those strip, uh, scraps. So I'm hoping you like this card and you can uh, try it out. This is in the uh, catalog that's through December of this year, and that's all. Uh, so if you want it or the paper or any of the objects, I mean uh, articles there, uh, the sooner you order it, the better, because you know how at the end it's a, a while supplies last. But it's a really nice one because you can make this a summer one and put green grass, a brown cabin. Uh, it's very versatile. It doesn't have to be winter and it doesn't have to be Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed this and got some ideas and thank you very much for watching. Bye!